this video is brought to you by Smash Balloon. Today, you'll learn how to display your Facebook timeline on your WordPress website, and we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. To get this to work on our site, we'll be installing the custom Facebook feed pro by Smash Balloon. Smash Balloon makes it super easy to integrate all of your social media accounts with your website. You can also use Smash Balloon's social post feed. This is a free version of it. It'll bring over your title and links, but it won't show your photos. So if that's important, then you'll want to make sure that you upgrade to the custom Facebook feed pro. So you can go to smashballoon.com and you can make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Smash Balloon. Once you've set everything up, Make sure you log in to your account. From here, we can download the plugin and go ahead and make sure you copy your license key as well. Next, we want to head over to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to head over to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for the plugin like we normally do, we want to upload the plugin. And from here, you can either left click and drag the zip file up to there or you can also click choose file. Want to make sure you click install now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once you see the landing page saying welcome, we can come over to the left. Let's go to settings so we can go to the license tab and add our license key. And we copied that before. We'll go over here and activate the license. All right. Once we've connected everything, let's go to configuration. This is where we'll connect our Facebook account with Smash Balloon. So I'm going to click the big button. And you can only choose to display a page or a group because of Facebook's privacy policies. You cannot add your own personal account here. So for this one, I'm going to do a Facebook page from here. You can choose the page that you want to connect to and make sure you click on the connect this page button. Now it will bring in your Facebook ID and a Facebook access token for you. Great. Now that everything is connected, we can scroll down and make sure we click save settings to save the connection. Next thing we want to do is create a post or a page wherever we're wanting this timeline to live. So I'm going to head over to pages, click add new, and I'm going to create a new page. And to add it, we want to click on the block for the little plus sign for a block. You can do it either here, or if you see a block up here, you can do it as well. And when you click on block, you can search custom Facebook feed. And once you click on that, it'll automatically start to bring in the feed so you can get a preview of what it looks like. You notice it brings in the title, the image, the description, as well as the likes and shares that have happened with each of these posts. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and publish this and then we can view it on our site. And that looks pretty good. So the next thing you can do is we can actually go in and make some adjustments or customize the feed. We'll go back to our dashboard and go to Facebook feed and click on settings. We can scroll down here and these are the settings that we can do. So we can say it's a page we can show only posts by the owner and you can change that to show owner and other people. If you're wanting to increase user engagement on your Facebook page, you can choose to show how many posts to display by default and then do the load more underneath. Now we can save settings and clear cache. And then you can go to the customize tab to customize the look and feel of it. And when you go to customize, you also can go to post layout and this will give the look and feel of the posts from here. You can choose to do a thumbnail look, a half width or the full width. This will change it to half width. Next we can go to style posts. And from here, you can either do regular style or a box. We're going to kind of do a box and let them each be contained in their own areas. For here, you can also change the rounded corner size. So we'll try 10 pixels and we'll do a box shadow just to give a little bit of depth to the design. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and just click save changes. And that looks a little bit better. I like the way that that looks. The other thing you can do is you can add the timeline in your sidebar area, if you would prefer to do that, we'll go back to our dashboard from appearance. Let's go to widgets. I'm going to add a widget up above the search area. I'm left click dragging and I just simply want to paste this bit of short code and this will work for any of your custom Facebook feed. Just copy this bit of short code and put it in your text area. Give it a title if you want. And now you see 
That looks really good on the side. The other cool thing is when you have the Facebook timeline anywhere in your widget area, it will also showcase your like page to really encourage people to like your page. And if you want to do more with your social media accounts, then make sure you watch this video next where I show you how you can use Instagram to grow your YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.